Hi everyone, so I'm in my final year of uni, as you will tell if you've been stalking my Twitter, and I have had to do quite a lot of essays in the past four years. So today I thought I'd do my personal top five tips for writing an essay or approaching an essay. Number one is to choose a subject or an idea that's interesting to you. And if you've been given a list of ideas, choose the one that you think will be most relevant to you and how best you can answer it. Don't choose something because you think that's what the lecturer or the teacher likes. Choose something that you will write, enjoy writing about because if you don't enjoy it then you're not going to be able to write well about this, the subject area. And it's going to come across in the writing that, it's quite bore, that the subject is quite boring to you. So it's always better to stick to something that you know you're going to enjoy yourself. Number two. Give yourself enough time to do background reading for the subject. Now, if it's only just a, if it's only a mini essay, then you won't need to do as much. But if it's a longer, more academic style essay writing, then you're going to need to do a lot of research into the actual idea in the area. So I advise you give yourself at least two weeks to do some reading on the subject, because if not, then you might find that you'll be struggling for ideas and references and sources and start to worry about plagiarising other people, which is never a good thing. <laughs> Number three. I think it's very important to write a draft of your overall essay first so that you can reread your ideas and you can see where you've gone wrong and where you can improve on. Even if you only do one draft and all you do is go back through it and add little details, that's better than nothing. It's better than just writing it once and sending it off. If you get the chance to go over it a few times to see what you can improve upon, then you're going to get a better mark and it's one of the better things to do. Four. Now, this one might seem like a strange thing to say, but ask for help. I don't mean get someone else to write it for you. What I mean is, if you're feeling like a sentence is struggling to be coherent or an idea is half formed but not quite formed, ask, ask someone else to read through it for you and to see what they think. And if they understand what you're saying, then you know you're okay to progress. But if they don't understand, then you can say what parts are unclear and you can try and change that. And that in itself helps to make your essay more coherent in general. Five. This is probably the most important tip that I have for anyone writing an essay or an extended dissertation or anything like that. But don't stress yourself out. If you're writing it and you start to get stressed, you'll rush through it and you'll it'll just come out terrible. I've done it myself. And what you end up with is a load of words that don't make any sense and it's so jumbled together that there would have been no point in you doing it anyway. So it's important that you keep a clear mind and a calm sort of mainframe whilst you're writing an essay so that you can just give the best that you've got to offer of yourself. Because you don't want it to end up being a waste of time for you and the person marking it. Now, I know that was just a short video, but I just had the idea and I thought that it would be good to just let people know what my approach is to doing an essay or a dissertation so that they can have a better idea for themselves. If you tend to approach essays in a different manner or you have any different tips or ideas that could be helpful, leave a comment below and I will definitely comment back and we can have a little conversation about how people tackle essays and it might help you find new ideas and new ways to do things differently. I uh, not bitten my nails yet, I don't know if you can tell, but not bitten since the 29th of December. So that resolution's going well, in case any of you were interested. You probably weren't. Hopefully there will be a video next week. I have an idea for one, and I'm going to hopefully film it on Saturday. So if you want to keep up to date with my videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr if you're interested. Although, if you follow me on Tumblr, be warned, when I go on Tumblr, I do just have Tumblr binges where I sit on there for 30 minutes and we blog about 200 things in those 30 minutes. So, I'm warning you now, just in case. <laughs> There's also my Instagram and Ask. Everything's lol along. That is my name, apart from YouTube. Everything is lol along. So, if you're looking for me, lol along and I'll be there. So, I shall bid the goodbye and I shall hopefully talk to you slash see some of you soon. <laughs> Bye! That's about it. Really need to get back into the swing of these.